Hey guys, so today I want to talk the current 2022 trends. So there are some trends that I've seen reoccurring from the end of 2021 through the start of 2022 that I think are only going to get more popular. I've noticed an observation lately on Instagram, even though the photos have gotten casual and we don't use professional cameras anymore. The outfits are more elaborate. I feel like in 2022, the trends are getting weirder and weirder. It almost feels like avant-garde and high fashion, like from New York City and editorials. It feels like that's transitioning onto Instagram. I don't know if that's just me though. Is it the New York City influence? What is it? Because New Yorkers have always dressed like that. When I'm scrolling through Instagram, I'm like, okay, like that's city proof. I could walk around in New York City wearing that, but like, could I pull that off in my small town? Like, is it suburban proof? Like, I don't think so. Also, isn't it just a mentality? Like, can I pull this off? This is why I want to do this video. And these are the trends I am going to be styling. Number one, puffer sets. I don't own a puffer set. This is a puffer set I want to try. Puffer trench coats. I've never worn anything like this. Bold colored winter accessories. I've actually seen Bella Hadid do this. I want to style this orange vest, this orange hat. Ties, vest. This, this one blows my mind, but ski masks. I have social anxiety, so I feel like I'm going to love this one. And last but not least, winter headwear. At the end of 2021, I did make a final closet clean out of 2021 and I did say I was going to completely stop giving into trends because I wanted to find my own personal style, get more intentional with my purchases, save money, and not give into like bad habits. So far, I really have been way more disciplined when shopping, but also I did manifest this career by having a natural desire to try new things, especially fashion-wise. Whenever I see something new, I wanna try the new fashion risk. I wanna see how I can pull off the new fad or the new trend, but put my own twist on it. So there's a spectrum. I don't wanna stray like completely far left field over here to where I stray away from what I love and what got me doing these vlogs which is trying and buying new things and I just think it's fun. The one thing I do want to stop is on the other end of the spectrum, buying and shopping when I'm bored, when I don't want to repeat outfits. I feel like that was the land I was living in during quarantine when I was doing my small business haul. Clothing didn't mean anything to me anymore. It honestly just felt like when new clothes would come in, I would wear them, get sick of them. All right, on to the next, sell those. I'm stopping that cycle. I want to live in the middle. Tap into the trends that are fun and weird, which is what I'm going to do in this video. I want to tap into the trends that I don't think I can pull off and show myself I can pull it off. I think stepping out of your comfort zone is really good for your fashion, especially if you want to evolve. I don't want to play it safe. This video I'm making for fun. I used to do videos where I would shop out of my comfort zone, but today I already did the shopping behind me on this rack. I want to style fashion trend that I've seen on Instagram. I can admire, but I don't think I can pull them off. I did shop from a very affordable site, which is Shein, who is actually the sponsor of today's video. So if you guys ever want to shop out of your comfort zone inexpensively. Shein is also offering a 15% promo code that you can apply at the end of your checkout. Use my special code BNICKY for an additional 15% off the entire Shein site. I personally felt like it was easiest finding the current trends under the Shein X Designer Incubator Program. Instead of going to Shein and going right to new arrivals, go to Shein X. Since it's tough for indie designers to get noticed, Shein designed this program to help get their designs out there while fronting the cost of marketing, giving them exposure while they can do what they do best, which is design. They all share the profits, but the designers never lose ownership of their designs, which I think is so important. We are going to start styling these outfits. All right, I'm going to move you guys around. Without further ado, we're gonna try these. I love this. I, I've just never worn anything like this. This is a bodysuit. These are puffer snow pants and a puffer vest. I love the color. I think that this color is really, really, really big right now. My prediction for 2022 is that lots of clothing, we're gonna start seeing a lot of bold colors like this. And I feel like pastels are gonna slowly fade into 2020. Let's see how this hat looks. So this is something I would definitely like see on Instagram and someone would look way cooler than me wearing this. This is cute, I just don't think I'd wear it with this outfit. You know what? I like my hair like this in this outfit. And I styled this outfit with some chunky sneakers. Zena's laughing that it's winter time and I'm wearing... Clothes. Can we just talk about how cute this is though? They're very flattering. Okay, so I think I'm obsessed with tights and I think I need to buy more. I love a little black dress. I own a lot of black and this, color. this is something to like change it up so it's not like black hair, black dress, like hot pink. Now I don't want to take it off. I think it's so flattering. Another trend that I've always played into, but I notice it's really popular now, is extreme cutouts. Bizarre places, like cutouts everywhere. Like we want to see skin. I like it. I like the back cutout. It looks really cute. <laughs> I'm going to take thumbnail in this. 
All right, I actually put two trends into one because I thought it was just so cute. We added a tie and a vest. Honestly, ties and vests look so fire together. So far, I'm like, it's going good. I've been telling myself like no trends, Nikki, no trends. Don't open your computer and online shop as a release, like go do something else. But I'm glad this video pushed me to do this because I love this so much. These pants are from Shein, vest from Shein, shirt from Shein, tie from Shein. This tie is so easily adjustable too. All right guys, this outfit, this isn't the trend. This isn't the trend. Are you ready for the trend? We're gonna rob a store. I have to take out my hair first. This is like, people that were ski masks on Instagram, like stay away from them. They just have that energy, like I'm cooler than you, leave me alone. Um, you know what? <laughs> In the matrix i don't know i was rooting for you we were all rooting for you guys though something was wrong about this no i look like i'm about to like yeah you about to be in the matrix you're jumping in on a positive note i'm truly obsessed with this bodysuit these pants again it's all from shein there's some like lime green writing down the pant there's like lime green detail on here that ties in the pant all right we are going to go on to the next trend all right, we're making up for that disaster with that mask. I'm loving this so much. What really stands out in my mind is a picture Hailey Bieber posted a while ago, which I'll find and have it pop up here. It was just so matchy-matchy. I love this so much. I think this is the best way to rock the bold colors this winter. Personally, I would wear a neutral or a monochromatic, very basic color underneath and then go crazy with the accessories. Next trend. This is Miley or Kim Kardashian and I can't even tell. Cat suits are having a moment this year. I love this. Miley Cyrus definitely performed in something like this and Kim Kardashian, like all she's been wearing is like body suits with gloves and boots. Something else I wanna try with this outfit, bear with me, it's probably gonna look hideous, but I've seen this trend all over Instagram so I had to put it in this video. I need to be shoved in someone's ear. Yeah, no. I am going to give this to one of my vibey influencer friends that could pull this off better than me. <laughs> Why is this so fucking cute? Do we like the hat? I like it. I would wear. This is the puffer trench coat trend. Where I live, it's freezing. Sometimes a jacket that's halfway isn't enough. Sometimes you really need like to warm up like this. Not only practical and warm, but it's so cute. I feel like underneath like trench coats, you can wear like a sweat set, a dressy outfit, jeans. You can wear anything under this and it's a vibe. Last look. All right, last looks. Loving this, I love this. But I do have a style question for you guys. Should I have worn the boots over top the pants or underneath? But this is the bold color trend that's really in. I also noticed there's like the cutouts in here. We got the fingerless gloves trend. I think the biggest trends after trying everything on are cutouts, fingerless glove, mesh, and bold colors. So my two top favorite trends that I tried are the puffer set and the vest and tie. I think those win for me, but honestly, comment down below what you think looked the best on me because you guys could see something totally different. But yeah, I'm gonna go take my Instagram photo in the green set. I think I decided I'm gonna wear the green. I wanna be super like real and candid with you guys. Since this is a brand deal, I do have to do an in-feed post on my Instagram. I honestly have the most fun curating those and making something a brand will love. And I know I can do a great photo in that green outfit, so. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I also did take my Shein pics in the green puffer suit. Honestly, it's such a vibe. And if you guys didn't know, I do have a single that just came out called Nine Lives. The music video is coming out really soon it's my favorite I've ever done and I'm also kind of going on tour and all that information will be linked down below I will be going on tour this spring with Kelsey Carter again huge thank you to my friends over at Shein for sponsoring this video and comment down below what other fashion video you'd like to see from me next follow me everywhere and I'll see you guys in my next video